Hey, I'm Ryan Christ, and today I'm showing you how I'm using the Apple HomePod Minis paired with the Apple TV to create the ultimate rock solid matter smart home. Join me now and let's dig in. Hey there and welcome. If you're new to this channel, I'm taking a luxury building grade home and turning it into the ultimate matter smart home by using the Apple TV and Apple HomePod minis paired with products like the Eve as uh, uh, smart shades from Texton, Eve light switches, and so many more. Today I'm diving in on, on how I'm using the Apple HomePod mini paired with the Apple TV and, and, and creating a border router as a setup. If you're living within the Apple ecosystem and want to create the ultimate matter smart home, personally, I think that the Apple HomePod mini could be your secret weapon. The cool thing is about the, about the HomePod mini is actually it works as a thread border router, which is what you need to um, create a, a matter smart home that is based on thread. So yes, the Apple Home, HomePod mini can you know, play, play music, act as an intercom, things like that. But the nice thing is, you know, within my house, I actually have or am using four Apple HomePod minis uh, placed strategically throughout the house and in which it creates a reliable and solid mesh network. So if you're new to Thread, so Thread is, is actually, say, the, the highway in which information uh, uh, travels uh, back and forth to each of your, um, your matter over Thread devices, say like your, your uh, shades, maybe it's your light switches and things like that. So Thread works best when your border routers, in this case, the Apple HomePod mini, are, are spread evenly throughout the house. Think of, of a border router like a Wi-Fi extender. So you're, you're basically using this device to, to ex extend the thread network to, to reach your devices more efficiently. Um, and, and so these are largely um, connected to your network of, uh, via Wi-Fi. In, in my home, so I have the Apple TV as my primary, which is connected to the uh, network of, of the Ethernet, and then I'm using the Matter Over th or the Apple HomePod Mini as my border router. Setting up the HomePod Mini is actually pretty straightforward and is very similar to a standard as I set up. So unboxing it here, uh, taking it out. Um, we actually are using these things called the Sanus mount, and so it actually takes the place of your typical electrical outlet cover and mounts uh, to it. Once attached to the wall, the Apple HomePod Mini just sits right on it and all the wires are hid under the top lid and plugs right in and it's actually pretty concealed. Since my Apple TV is actually the main, say, base station of my Apple HomeKit, setting up the Apple HomePod is, is a cinch. Just scan it let it do its thing, choose the room, and you're good to go. Now that all of my Apple HomePod minis are set up as border routers, adding devices to my Matter Smart Home is really easy. So just scan a, a Matter QR code like I'm doing here on one of my Texton uh, roller shades. I choose a room, set the limits, and from there, we just keep adding and growing and, te and testing it out. Open the main bedroom shades. So let's talk tips when, when using the Apple Home, HomePod minis as thread uh, border routers. So uh, number one, these things need to be on 24 seven and be connected to um, your uh, uh, network at all times. That way, any automations that you have going, things like that will, will always be working and your signal is not, not going to be uh, 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 dropping out. So the, the nice thing is, is you know, when you create a mesh network using uh, border routers like the Apple HomePod Mini, if, if one of these actually did go out, um, you or your other home, HomePod Minis would, would, you know, would kind of put a, a Band-Aid on that portion of, of the network to, to where most, if not all, of your automations will will still work. 
naturally you may have some sig signal loss and and so forth for the time being until you get this this HomePod Mini uh, uh, back up or another border router uh, uh, back up. But at, at the very least, you'll be able to still use your, your home going forward. Also, you want to spread these out evenly in in the home. Don't, don't you know? Don't just put one or two in in you know the farthest points of of your home. The more that that you add, the more reliable that that your smart home is going to be. So, not all matter devices use use thread. Your two primary say te uh, technologies to communicate in a matter smart home are matter over thread and also matter over Wi-Fi. If you see my prior uh, 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 videos, I ex you know explain what the uh, differences are. But just just a, as a quick topic here, matter over thread is for really low power, um, you know, low d data uh, transfer scenarios. So whether you're using it to um, say raise and lower shades, turn on and off lights, things like that. Where matter over Wi-Fi comes comes into play is maybe you have a a smart doorbell that that is connected to your um, your Apple uh, home kit via matter, but it's using Wi-Fi to transfer data uh, back and forth, largely because there's so much information uh, with a, a video and, and so forth. And lastly, always make sure, if you can, to have your Apple TV connected to uh, Ethernet. Um, this will make sure that, that your automations are snappy, things are reliable and, and always up because in actuality, Wi-Fi isn't always the most reliable source. So a lot of folks, you know, they'll, you know, they'll kind of create a smart home based on the Apple HomePod mini, which is great. But the downside to that is, is that you can only connect the Apple HomePod mini using Wi-Fi um, I'd rather, um, you know, with the Apple TV, this is, this can be done uh, using Ethernet to make it a lot faster, more stable, things like that. If you're serious about creating a Matter smart home, you know, this, this combo is, is actually one of, of the, of the best. It's, it's ultra reliable. And most of all, the, probably the most secure way to, to, to create a, a, a smart home, large in part because of the security that Apple uses on all of its uh, devices. Are there cheaper ways to do this? Absolutely. Um, but at the end of, of the day, my goal for this house is to build the ultimate matters smart home. And this is the route that I'm going. However, you know, as I'm learning through this and, and, and so forth and, and some other things that I've learned, you know, I, I need to probably add another wireless access point. Um, this house is, while it's, it's not large, it's kind of, you know, very broken up um, around the house. And so, you know, two access points are okay, but I may be able, but I actually need to uh, probably add in a third. Um, I'm actually going to be uh, adding in some, Eve smart plugs, which will also act as, as border routers too. And so I'm hoping that with, with combination of, of, of a third uh, wireless access point um, and the, and the Eve as uh, uh, smart plugs kind of scattered throughout the house that, you know, we'll, we'll have a, a much faster, you know, um, you know, matter over thread ex experience. So now that I've actually got, you know, the, the four Apple HomePod minis in, installed in the house, uh, paired with the uh, Apple TV and things are going, you know, I've, you know, I like how, how it's uh, set up, but at the same time, I am seeing some speed degradations and, and so forth. So that's, that's ch challenging. It's large in part because of how the home is designed. It's designed in a shape of a U. You know, as I'm using the, the, um, the uh, you know, the, the Apple HomeKit app and I raise in and lower shades, things like that, I've been noticing that, you know, there is some uh, latency uh, with it. I'm not sure if that's because I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro Max and and I need to upgrade to the 16 or or actually maybe the uh, 17 that's uh, coming out. I'm not sure yet, but those are things that I'm going to be uh, uh, testing. But large in part, I'm super happy with with how things are going. This is only the beginning. I've got the shades. I've got some lights uh, uh, coming up, but my ultimate goal is to have really everything automated. Um, I know I've been uh, talking to Eve and, and they're working on a um, 
a smart thermostat that that's uh, coming out. So I'm I'm anxious to uh, to test that out in in the home, and then yeah, uh, go from there. All right, guys, if if you like this uh, video, give me a a thumbs up. That you know helps with my uh, channel and subscribe if you haven't. All right, guys, see you on the next episode.